<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hey, we have got an outdoor project today, y'all. You remember old, uh, old little buck that I shot earlier this year and I've been working on, if you follow the vlogs, I've kind of gone through the process of uh, bleaching the skull, cleaning it out, and now it is time to finally make the pedestal for this deer. And I've got some of my leftover tiger wood and we're gonna be sprucing it up and putting it on the wall today. And today's video is sponsored by Guns of Glory. What is this Guns of Glory, you may ask? Well, it is a strategic warfare game you can download for free on iOS and Android. It takes you back in time to the land of musketeers. Yeah, you know, one for all, all for one. It is a multiplayer RTS game, so you can battle your other musketeer buddies across the globe, and if you want to destroy them with your armies or your warships or uh, any of that sort of thing, you could do that. I do warn you, it's one of those addictive games where you open it up, things just start popping out at you and you're building armies and kingdoms and fighting this person, that person, and all of a sudden, you're an hour down the road and you know your baby's crying and your wife's wondering what's going on with you, but uh, it is fun. Give Guns of Glory a download. It's free, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a fun way to pass the time. Plus, they decided to sponsor today's video. YouTube, no, doesn't allow you to even show a gun in the video. This video will probably be demonetized, but I decided just because Guns of Glory is sponsoring it, I'm gonna put a gun right in the front. My Model 11 1946 Remington. God's a beautiful gun. Anyway, I just want to let y'all know I'm not changing my style for anybody. Oh gosh. Thank you Guns of Glory for sponsoring today's video where we could show our beautiful Model 11 shotgun and our deer hat that we killed with a gun. And we're going to be putting this right here on this pedestal. I have never formed anything this artful uh, in, in the woodcraft world yet. I got to work on some wood crates the other day with my router. A router is a tool that basically allows you to um, go into the wood and make different designs uh, or make very specific cuts. So I've got a whole set of bits here. I wanna pick out uh, one of these bits that's gonna make a cool design on the outside. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad because this Brazilian tiger wood isn't exactly uh, at Home Depot. Essentially the idea here, get it, <laughs> idea. I'm gonna take this mount right here. This is on mesquite wood. This is one of my first bucks. And then this piece right here, which is an outline of the deer's skull. Make those measurements. By the way, I'm on baby watch duty again. While Steph is at the dentist. I'm not too comfortable about leaving you around you know, high powered drills, tools, and saws. So I think you're safe in here with just like the drawing up status. And we're probably gonna have to wait for mommy to get home until we start turning on the power tools. Cause I care about your pretty little face. This is my attempt at trying to draw a symmetrical outline around this deer skull. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but you know what? Neither are all of us. We're not all perfect. <laughs> my brain's a little lopsided. Now it's time to actually cut it out. I'm gonna be using a uh, high powered jigsaw. I'm not so sure about cutting the tiger wood with a jigsaw because it's super hard wood. We're gonna give it a shot. Turn this down to a little slower speed for cutting through hardwoods. One of these days, I'm actually gonna have a workbench to do videos on, but for now, I'm using a, uh, a garden holder thing that Steph has yet to utilize. it so far not a bad little cut it's kind of bogging down in this super hard part of the wood so I might have to speed it up a little bit try not to burn out the motor I am 
somewhat impressed by the jigsaw. Looks pretty good. We're gonna have to shape up that nose though. The little nose area. A little bit of a boo boo. That wood is awesome, beautiful. Now here comes the challenging and fun part. I'm going to take the router and I'm going to do some shaping. This is the handle for the router. The router goes in here. It's got a bit that goes in and it spins at a very high speed and it's gonna take shavings off. You can use it to plunge into the wood like a drill or you can go around the sides and make the decorations and all that fun stuff. What I'm gonna do at first is just literally try to shape it exactly the way I want it. I've done some more uh, pencil markings to try to uh, make the shape a little bit more symmetrical and then we'll take the decorative bits and go around the edge and make it pretty. That looks all right. A couple little boo-boos, but guys, there's two tools that I have that freak me out a little bit. It's this router, freehanding the router, like not using a routing table, just handheld on that guy. That thing's just hanging there, you know, right at, right at about um, pouch level, if you know what I'm saying. That's a little freaky. And then the jigsaw, the jigsaw freaks me out too. Like, oh gosh, see, you got my foot caught in the extension cord almost. It's crazy, Tasmanian Devil's attached to the other end. There's no, there's no guard at the front. So you get your little digits out in front there, it's taking them off, like off, like the bug spray. But that's not gonna stop me from making the Tiger Wood European deer mount, no sir. Little learning lesson here, changed out bits to this flush trim bit. See that little ball bearing right there? That allows you to evenly go around the edges where I was like, actually freehanding and you can see how difficult that is i mean wow what a lesson there i'm glad we can learn these things together you know most people would probably research a lot of this before oh, wow. Much flush trim bit really good at getting it flush look at that Whereas the jigsaw just kind of, it kind of made a uh, you know cattywampus cut where the blade was bending or whatever. Now it is time to make our decorative cut. What I'm going to use is called a roundover bit. I've got a, a few of these of different sizes. I'm going to go with the biggest one I've got in the box because I've got a big piece of wood right here. Uh, since it's so big, I may not uh, bring it off the wall. I may just use this piece because it sticks out kind of far already. The antler shouldn't hit the wall. So I'm gonna take this bit, and this has a ball bearing on it as well. A ball bearing with a little collar. And I'm gonna go all the way around this thing and see what it looks like. Decorative piece, a little nervous. I gotta raise my bit up just a hair. <laughs> Show you guys let's check it out getting fancy little boo-boo there but other than that that's that's pretty smooth i would say i'm pretty happy with that that's neat gotta make sure that sucker's clamped good <sighs> Honestly, I'm pretty happy with this right here, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I did this. I did this. What did I go right her? Wow. I can't wait to go inside and show Stephanie. I've got I've got a few boo-boos. Boiled linseed oil on there. Make it all shiny and pop. Just BAM! I'm already proud of myself. Gosh dang. Always be creating. Build something with your hands. Do it right. Take your time. Ah. You feel good. You feel good about yourself. You gotta get OSG's thoughts. I gotta get my thoughts. Yeah, I could look at my thing. You gave me this I, router I, I for see, Christmas. I see something is uh, cut out over here. It kind of looks like a skeleton. Yeah, you could put your face in there. That is awesome. Isn't that cool? No, it's pretty professional. I'm, I know, I'm proud of myself. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Steph got me this thing for Christmas. 
And to be honest, I didn't really know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it can do. That it can do that. So you can build cabinetry and stuff with it, and make that's how that's how cabinet uh, carpenters and stuff. That's how they do all the etching on the outside of the wood. That is really cool. Look how thick it is. That's with your tiger wood. It is. So that's pretty masculine. I'm putting a pretty small deer on there, unfortunately, but impressive, maybe babe. Switch it out one day. It's kind of like a little alien skull. <laughs> Yeah, you got it right. It does look like an alien skull. I gotta get back to work. Sun's going down. All right, Emmy's getting cold. All right. Meet you back for dinner. Yep. Thank you, honey. Working up a, a hunger out here with my wood projects. I've got enough room on top to do another decorative bit. However, I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't want to screw it up. So, what I, I do feel safe about doing is taking a trimming bit and going down the other side and that'll help reduce the such the block look that it has oh yeah shows i am now we're cooking with crisco ladies and gentlemen decorative little contour up front and then just a round little shaper in the back look at that it's time to just take an orbital sander to this guy. Just shape it up, clean it up, get it nice and fine. We're gonna put a little boiled linseed oil on it. Woodworking, power tools, white-tailed deer. Gotta love it, hit the like button. Well, I can't really say it's gonna win any awards anytime soon, but for my first Euro mount uh, wood piece, I mean, come on, that deserves a like right there. Not bad. We're gonna take some bold linseed oil right here. Check that up. Soak it in. Watch closely now, it's a little dull. Put some of this on here. Oh. Wipe this in. Oh, look at it pop. Look at it pop now. Look at the difference. That makes that tiger wood really stand out. That's beautiful. That is beautiful stuff. This is why I did not want it to go to waste. Didn't want to just throw it away, scrap wood. On the side, look how beautiful that is. Come on now. Absolutely delightful, y'all. Tiger wood is so awesome. You put that bold linseed all on there. It's fantastic. It's almost like lotion. You know what this would honestly look awesome as? A gun stock. Tiger wood would be an awesome gun stock. Uh, sorry, what am I thinking? Mentioning guns again, I, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna start by drilling some pilot holes into the skull. ourselves a little divot there. That was dumb. Well, my screws aren't long enough. Two and a half inches. I'm gonna just drill a little extra pilot up at the front. This is a 5 16 out. Uh, 5 16 out. Ah, fishing brain, what can I say? I'm going to drill in about halfway into this wood, give myself a little extra length. Everything I do with wood, one common thing is always the same. There's workarounds. Ooh, that is really gonna spit out some wood. So I got big vacuums. There's our little safety flag. Just about an inch right there on that one. All right, well, now that we got some bigger holes on it, and I definitely had to get the vacuum out because OSG was gonna be pissed. Now we're talking. Uh, now that little holder helps. And that is it, everybody. Look at that. Brazilian tiger wood. That is pretty. The idea here is I've got, well, three or four different areas to hang uh, some deer mounts. Got me a little nail up here. I don't think it's totally in line, but you're gonna get the idea. There we go. Oh 
dear goodness. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that trio up there. The only thing is that one is, is metal. I've got another project for that to make it wood as well. And then we're gonna have a, a true wood trio. Mesquite, tiger wood, maybe oak. I don't know. Thanks for hanging with me on today's video, y'all. I'm gonna see you again real soon. So go ahead and subscribe right here. Hit the notification so you don't miss a single video. Go ahead and tell me what you think about this thing. What would have made it better? Let's hear it down below and I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.